guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episode 10 of Pretty Boy Detective Club, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, so I'm guessing because we are now done with the previous book, which would be book 4, so we're now on book 5 for this series. And I'm guessing we're going to... The last, like, three or four episodes is probably going to be possibly about this next book. Oh, election for the next student council president. Hmm. Well, what's wrong now? I mean, yeah, especially, you know, being elected next good help the president, but there's got to be something else, right? Well, damn. <laughs> this is how we signed the last few episodes of this show? Oh, my God. Mm -mm. Well, that's good. Damn, about a month? Jesus. Yeah, who, who's going to be next in line to just, you know, count the votes and everything? Mm. But then, hold up, wouldn't it just automatically go to you then?
Mm. Of course. I think anybody would be about that situation. Mm. Yeah. I mean, wouldn't that just be better to, like, step in for her? Since she won't be able to be back for a month? I mean, but then, okay, if she's gotten targeted, wouldn't he be targeted as well? Since, I mean, if he is going to run for it again, then boom. Great. And let me guess, wait, 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 we're going to possibly, like, draw this out or, you know, up until she possibly remembers of the accident and maybe who possibly hurt her? Because let me guess, you want her to be one of the candidates, right? Huh. Yeah. Huh. I mean, hey, stamped if you do, damned if you don't. True. All right, Mr. Lollicon, let's go ahead and do this then. <laughs> maybe they're all busy with their own things Miami so I mean you only have these two true is our leader too busy mm -hmm. <laughs> of course you heard the story <laughs> oh of course 
course not, because the police are probably not going to really do anything. They may follow up on the case, but they might not do shit. Come on now, let's be a little smart about this. You know? Yeah. Then you know who Yokota is. Maybe it's a girl. Why are we automatically thinking it's a guy? Yeah, and so for him, of course, she had to be his biggest competition. So, of course, what do you do? Take the competition out one by one. If you have to, do a hit and run or you kill them. He possibly has a butler, not a butler, a driver for his own person. I mean, if almost every kid at this school is rich as fuck, then, I mean, they all must have a driver. Shadow. Okay, and where is this king shadow? Oh. Mm-hmm. Well, you have a nice voice. I wonder why they won't show your face, though. Um.
Yeah. You only go. Hold up! What the? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Are we serious? There's six minutes left. See now, one hundred percent. Managatsu in a nutshell. Managatsu will end like and do the end credits at sixteen minutes, and then we have seven minutes left. Are we serious? What the fuck? Okay. Whoever this kid is, shit all. When, like I said, his voice. Voice is nice. Voice is familiar to me. Don't know who the hell it is, but I'm going to look it up after I'm done watching this damn episode. But, like I said, with this character and everyone else who is also running for student council president, it seems like if it is likely Shido, who is the one who ran did the hit and run over the girl who's now currently in the hospital for a month, it would make the most sense because, of course, if he is also in the running, which he is, it's better for him to go ahead and take everyone down one by one until he is the only one left in the running. But if Mayumi is going to run, which it seems like it is, because of course everyone has ultimately agreed in the Pretty Boy Detective Club that Mayumi is going to run it just in case. And so she's going to be the ultimate sacrifice because okay, everybody else is kind of literally busy and outside of the Pretty Boy Detective Club, um... These boys don't associate with each other. So when they're in it, when they're when they're together, they're going to associate. When they're not, they're maybe just going to possibly glance at each other and say hi. I mean, I, I, it would have been nice to see something outside of them, but no. And the perfect way to get her is when she's walking home to school, um, from school or walking to um, school from home. So that's always the perfect time to really get her. Or when she's alone. Well, damn, three cars fed by. Where exactly do you want to go, Miami? Oh? She had to be. Yeah. I mean, also, no offense, shouldn't we also ask her her ourselves? I mean... Next episode, possibly going to the hospital and talking to her. 
maybe possibly just to say hey if you keep going down this road next time you could be killed because of course it was a warning for her hmm. where you go Mm-hmm. Did it go to the right or the left? Because no matter what, the right and the left, it seems like it's the same distance. It makes you wonder, like, why weren't there cameras around here? I mean, like, okay, that crossing isn't a long crossing, but, like, any crossing should have, like, at least cameras around it, right? There are no traffic lights around it either. I still can't believe he's in fifth grade. The pretty boy on DL part one. Okay, so we we probably now, this is episode 10, 11, 12. This either has 12 episodes or 13. Let's go ahead and check that out since we're going to still be here for a couple minutes. Okay, so whoever whoever did this, like I said, my money is still on Shittle because he seems the most suspicious and such. Um... Since Mayumi is now wanting to, or officially now in the running for it, anything could literally now officially happen to her in the next, let's see how many episodes this show, 12. Okay, so we got two weeks left with this show and <laughs> two weeks to wrap up this final case for them. If it is Shido, it, it once once again, it makes the most sense for it to be him because he's also in the running with Wana, but at the same time, I really want them to go to the hospital to go talk to this chick and be like, okay, did you possibly see someone who, the person who was in the car, the person who was driving, was there anybody else in the car? What time of day was it? It had to be early in the morning and such when she got hit and such, but she doesn't really remember anything. So if we, if they do go necessarily in this next episode, it would be little to no reason because of course she doesn't really remember anything about the incident and I'm guessing because maybe a month later she might remember or you need to take her back to the scene of the crime for her to like get triggered on some memory or something almost like you know um because they've done it with like some of the tv shows and animes that i've seen where it's like somebody has amnesia and they're trying to spark any little memory of something about them and their loved one who is specifically close to them specifically usually their um significant other so what they do is they do certain things that they normally did in their typical normal day when they were together and sometimes it will instantly make them remember or eventually maybe later on take like a couple hours not a couple hours a couple a couple of, um episodes later or if it's a movie at least an hour 
or an hour and 30 minutes into it, maybe that person might start remembering that person and, and their memories might be triggered and everything and just like that. But, um, yeah, Shido's, whoever, whoever is Shido's say you, like, damn, you, once again, you have a nice voice. But I'm going to be highly skeptical of him right now because we only really got to see, like, part of his face. Only really maybe, like, up to his nose and not his eyes. So we're calling him now, like, an eyeless person or um, a person with, like, half of a face because we don't really know what he truly looks like from the front. We've only seen from the back. So, once again, I feel like next week we're probably going to see... Um, the rest of the boys besides, okay, our, our lovely Bear Legs boy, my love so much, um, tailing Shido. Like, we're, we're, of course, like, Mayumi's going to have her bodyguards. But whoever else isn't, you know, taking care of her is going to possibly tail the crap out of Shido. Maybe. I don't know. Because they're going to need, like, blackmail or anything on this dude to find out what the world are they, what, what he's capable of. I don't think the Pretty Boy Detective Club, uh, Pretty Boy Detective Club is, like, capable of blackmail, but, I mean, really, let's go back to, like, the first few episodes of this show, and it was kind of like that and such. So, I mean, yeah, they could be capable of doing it. I, I don't know. We ain't gonna know until we get there next week, but other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 10 of Pretty Boy Detective Club. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the National Squad, and, of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, next Saturday for episode 11. Bye, guys!